In the novel Answering Liberty's Call, Anna is married in a gown with a red and yellow floral stripe over a red petticoat. What we know of traditional weddings may lead us to believe brides always wore white, when in fact it was Queen Victoria who started the trend in 1840. A colonial bride would have worn her best gown for her wedding. Anna's gown is a polonaise, a bodice with an attached overskirt, worn over a separate petticoat. The petticoat is constructed like a drawstring bag, except it's open at the bottom, with side slits to reach into the pocket, which is worn on a ribbon tied around the waist, but more about the pocket later. Again, I flat felled all the seams and did a narrow rolled hem at the bottom of the skirt before I attached the ruffle. The pattern called for cutting the ruffle's upper edge with pinking shears and leaving the raw edge exposed. I used Freycheck, a modern hack, to keep the raw edge from unraveling. For the polonaise, I cut the bodice so the stripes would make a chevron pattern in front, using a folded piece of paper to set the pattern piece on a 45 degree angle to the fabric grain. The bodice is lined with unbleached muslin. Clipping the curves before turning the bodice inside out helps the finished seams lie smoothly. The pattern called for attaching the bodice to the overskirt with heavy thread. Buttons sewn to the outside of the back waist and loops of narrow cords sewn to the inside are used to drape the overskirt up in puffs in the back. Like the ruffle on the petticoat, the pleated ruching on the neckline is pinked on both raw edges. The cord in the narrow casing helps the wearer adjust the neckline, and hooks and eyes fasten the front. In the next video, it's time to accessorize.